In this tutorial, I'd like to talk about the component colors and what those colors are signaling to us. So just to make a note that I'm using default settings, which I suggest you to use as well. So let's start. So here I have a short definition for a two-point box, which could be modified with the slider, changing the coordinates of the second point. And let's see what sort of color previews we can get and what information it signals to us. So if I middle click or click my wheel, the radial user interface opens. And I can choose to disable my component or turn off its preview. Let's turn off the preview first. So the preview is turned off. And because I still have this box over here, you can still see the box. So I will select this one and also do the same for now. So what it does, it turns off the preview in Rhino window. So we don't have a previewed geometry, but we still have the geometry. So in the panel, you can see that it says box. There is no errors or warnings. So everything is working. We just don't see the box. And so let's select the first one and turn the preview on. Okay, let's make another copy. Let's turn on the preview. And then you can see that if I have a green selection, it, it's currently overlapping. But if I have my active component selected, it's, it has a green shade, green this overtone. Let's now, let's say, select the inputs and disconnect and if there's missing information i would have an error being shown as an orange color and a bubble you can turn on or off bubbles at main menu bar display canvas widgets and message balloons so you can turn it on and off so as my component is being shown orange. You can see in the panel that says that no data was collected. So we don't have this box here. Let's make another copy. So there is a warning, but there is not like real error with it. So it's just missing some information. But the information that it has so far, it's okay. So let's make it worse. Let's do it like this. So in this case, you see it as a reddish, uh, as red. The component is in red. And now this signals us an error. And it says that data conversion failed from number to point, which means that Grasshopper cannot convert the numeric value, single numeric value, into a point. It doesn't doesn't read it that way. And this is a true error because we have fed numerical value into an input, like component input, which required coordinates, required a point. So the panel doesn't show an error, but it just shows null. It shows that nothing has been calculated because there's an error within the component. Okay, so we can also, let's create a copy and let's establish a working box. We can also right click on it or use the radial menu by clicking the wheel and disable our component. So in this case, you see that the component is totally gray, including the icon. 
So previously, when we just turned off the preview, the component was gray, but then the icon was in color and has some, had some colors. But when it's disabled, it's totally gray. And also the wire is an out from the output coming wire is orange, signaling that there is something wrong there. And the panel says that no data was collected. So that's what's wrong there. Just quickly mentioning and showing you what I what I meant when I said that we shouldn't manipulate too much these default settings of coloring because other people people might not know that and it just might make make it more difficult for them to read your script. So if we go to File, Preferences, under Display and Palette, you can see that there's some colors, um, some swatches that are, let's say, for errors, for hidden, standards, selected, and not selected, and the warning. So as I mentioned before, I do not recommend changing these default parameters, but if you opened someone else's definition, someone else's a grasshopper file, and there's some weird colors that you don't understand the meaning of, you can go to grasshopper settings and check which colors are set to represent what information. Okay, so that's it with the uh, component colors. See you in the next one.